Hello ladies and gentlemen, I hope you're doing splendid today. Today we're going to feature one of the most famous and more recognisable dinosaurs, known as Triceratops, which translates to Free Horned Face. This dinosaur is one of my personal favourites, and you often, if you really like the young child, like at one point like myself, or well, everyone was, and used to collect like dinosaur toys or models, you would see our Triceratops facing off against a Tyrannosaurus Rex. And this was actually accurate because Tyrannosaurus rex and Triceratops would have both lived to be in the same region, being North America, and would have both been in the same period, living on the same continent at the same time. So they definitely would have came into contact with each other. Isn't that splendid? Triceratops roamed the planet during the Cretaceous period. This was some 68 million years ago and would have been possible prey for a certain famous dinosaur by the name of Tyrannosaurus rex. Triceratops would have been located within North America where it was discovered within the Hell Creek Formation, another famous fossil deposit. Triceratops was also estimated to attain lengths of up to 7 to 9 metres, or 26 to 29 foot long, so it was quite a hefty herbivore, which would also be in 10 foot in height, so it was quite tall as well. Triceratops could attain weights of up to 6 to 12 tonnes, nearly 6,000 to 12,000 kilograms, and was a herbivore, meaning it required a diet of plant matter. The first known specimen of the famous Triceratops was discovered in 1887 in Denver, Colorado. The remains were sent to a famous paleontologist by the names of Othaniel Charles Marsh, who first actually believed that the remains belonged to an extinct, very large species of bison. After about a year, Marsh revised his theory and believed that the remains actually belonged to a dinosaur which he published from fragmentary small remains and, low, and classified them in the genus Ceratops, with the specimen eventually being classified as Triceratops. The evolutionary beginnings of Triceratops are mainly obscure, with a dinosaur by the name of Protoceratops first being seen as its ancestor in 1922. In recent years though, more information has come to light, with a dinosaur species known as Zunuceratops, being the earliest known Ceratopsian dinosaur, described in the 1990s, and Yin Lon is the first known Ceratopsian dinosaur, which was discovered, well, no, first known Jurassic Ceratopsian dinosaur, I should say. So I have a little facts. The horns of Triceratops were believed to be used for courtship and defensive measures, possibly from predators such as Tyrannosaurus rex. Triceratops had about 400 to 800 teeth, which were constantly replaced throughout its lifetime, and the skull was one of the largest like skull to body ratios for an animal and actually ended up taking up one third of the total mass of the actual Triceratops' body. So it was one hell of a big skull, ladies and gents. Here are just some horny facts for you, ladies and gentlemen. Try not to get too excited by all the information. Triceratops were the most likely faced off against dinosaurs such as Tyrannosaurus rex as they both lived during the Cretaceous period. Triceratops is also the state dinosaur of the North American state of Wyoming. A skull of Triceratops could reach an impressive 2 metres in length. And Triceratops had roughly between 400 to 800 teeth, which were constantly replaced during its lifetime. One feature regarding Triceratops that is often overlooked is its beak-like mouth, which was used to chip off bits of vegetation much similar to modern birds of today. It's also believed that Triceratops had a body posture very similar to modern rhinoceros species, normally possessing an upright stance when they are being active in locomotion, with the elbows flexed and slightly bowed outwards. Speaking of dinosaurs with beaks, I chose to include an incredible species of dinosaur by the name of Psittacosaurus, which name actually translates to parrot lizard, and you can quite see why. The beak clearly resembles parrot species, and it's also quite similar to a certain Ceratopsian dinosaur mentioned earlier by the name of Protoceratops. And just another note, I, we, my family owns a lovely avian species, or parrot species, by the name of an, an African grey, or Psittacus serenicus. Well that concludes this video about our three horned friend, ladies and gentlemen. Triceratops is truly a lovely dinosaur, which also featured in Jurassic Park, a fantastic movie, although the Triceratops in that movie was slightly sick, and not in the best of states. But it's also in the Lost World Jurassic Park, I believe, you see Triceratops, but only briefly. 
It's also in a number of different illustrations, novels and probably children's books. I think the main species of Triceratops, but I'm doing this off the top of my head, is Triceratops horridus, or horridus. Well, that might be incorrect, but you can comment on that if you that is incorrect or actually correct. As always though, I hope you enjoyed the video. Feel free to comment, like and subscribe and join the Raptor Pack today and have a splendid evening. <laughs> <laughs>